and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Sivir Abyss. First time going to be playing Howling Abyss with uh, six mana, right? With the new patch out now, Howling Abyss costs six mana. Super excited for that. As y'all know, Howling Abyss is my favorite card in the game. It's so much fun, and I particularly love combining Howling Abyss with Siphoning Strike, so you can get those allied champions everywhere, plus two, plus two. We played it, um, so I've done a lot of different, you know, variations of, of different Howling Abyss decks, and, and, you know, with Siphoning Strike also. Recently, we did Sivir and Nasus, and I, I really liked how that felt. Nasus basically because it was more copies of Siphoning Strike, with that being uh, Nasus's champion spell. But I'm going to go ahead and move away from Nasus now with Nasus and Howling Abyss both costing six mana now. I didn't really want to put both of them in the deck, but I did want to play Zillion. So thought about different champions to put in here. You know, Brahm's a very good one. Trundle's a very good one. Both of those are very good in this kind of deck. They both slow the game down and everything like that. Trundle works, you know, well with Siphoning Strike, where Zillion doesn't work as well with Siphoning Strike. Just, just saying that, like, you know, it would only strike for one. Or like this strikes for four. Braum, you know, doesn't work that well with Siphoning Strike, only, you know, striking for zero. But Braum does slow the game down quite a bit. Anyway, I want to go with Zillion. And the reason why is because Zillion allows us to predict. And it allows us to help us find, you know, Howling Abyss or Siphoning Strike, whichever one we need. Or if it's early on in the game, maybe we're playing against some aggro and we need some Avalanche or Ice Shard, anything like that, we can find those. Or, you know, maybe we need to find our Sivir, find our Ruin Runner, find a good... Like, both of these are important because they are Spell Shield threats that have a lot of power, and the Spell Shield helps the Siphoning Strike strike the opponent. So we got a couple of those. Got one Battling Bjerg to help draw. You know, like, we'll just draw a Sivir or Ruin Runner. But, yeah, I want to try out Zillion with that. Plus, I was thinking that Zillion, if we can get a leveled up Zillion in here, and then we also have Howling Abyss going, where Howling Abyss makes a champion for us. We play that level two champion, and then Zillion, the next round start, we get like a copy of that. <laughs> so then we can we can just start getting like a bunch of just random champions and champion spells from those champions, and then put those champions back into our deck with the champion spell, and we could draw them later also. I don't know, That's this is obviously just kind of a pipe dream, but that seems like that could be really cool and really crazy. And so that's what we're going to do. All right, so we got a bunch of defensive tools. Um, and some card advantage, and some predict, and uh, siphoning strike plus howling abyss. So here we go, zillion, sivir, abyss. Let's get to it. Let's go play five games in ranks. All right, we got Karma Heimer. So that Karma Heimer is a slower deck. So that's good for my howling abyss. We're gonna get rid of these two. Keep the howling abyss, and we'll keep a troll chant. Troll chant seems like it'd be pretty, pretty good. They could have Aftershock that would kill Abyss. I'd be super sad. They could have, um, you know, Homecoming that would bounce it. Okay. Well, looks like our first play is Merciless Hunter. Grab a Sivir. Zillion. Logical. While I could try Siphoning Strike on the Heimer, they likely have like Twin Disciplines or anything like that to help protect it. I think I'm going to go with Ruin Runner right here. Without mercy. Another siphoning strike. We love it when they run. Yeah, 
man. Twin Disciplines is nice. I guess that would kill my Ruin Runner also, so maybe I just need to use the Troll Champ first, but it's not that difficult to stop an Avalanche. Maybe I'll just do this. Like, Deny stops this, but that's kind of about it. If they do Deny, they'd get, like, the 4-1, and the Avalanche would be good after that anyway. Or, you know, like, multiple spells can stop it. And I guess they have multiple spells. They discarded Dawn and Dusk. They're just playing Dawn and Dusk. No, they're not. They had they they did the Flash of Brilliance. What? They didn't play that two one. Okay, so they they should definitely play the two one just over the other two one because then that helps their Heimerdinger level up. I don't know exactly why they didn't. They are passing to me, which will allow me to attack and challenge the Heimer. I kind of feel like I have to take the pass. Why not Avalanche? Because they can like deny it and then get like a 4-1 and then attack me with a whole bunch of stuff where I'm like not getting attacked right now. I guess we just Avalanche. That's true, they only got three cards. Oh hey, that worked. I guess they could play new Heimer now, like a new champion. I taste purple. Yeah. Let's pass. So unlikely to work. Is it even worth it? Probably not, to be honest. Probably not. I'll take a sentry. Yeah, Avalanche with Sivir is pretty nice, right? Because, yeah, you get to do so much damage. Like, yeah, we did what? We did 17 damage. With that avalanche. No. I just want the plus two, plus two. Can we outgrind Karma Heimer with a bunch of random champions that we don't know who they're going to be yet? I guess my reputation's only at one out of four. Fortune. All right. <laughs> Does it not get stunned? I guess because. Wait, what? That had to have been a bug, right? Like the first one should take out the spell shield, and the second one stun it, right? So why you say that doesn't work? Why doesn't that work? Reed Sivir? 
Again, I know I understand what the card Sifter does, but why did why just say? Shouldn't that? This pay by the hour. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was just a bug right there. No, I understand that they have the keywords. Again, there's karma doubles it, so there's two. There's two of those t those concussive palms being cast. So the first concussive palm should take out the spell shield, and then the second one should stun it, right? Like, does that is that not how that works? I mean, that's definitely how it should work. I would think. No, that's not how it works because it's not two different spells. The only reason why I want to block with this Sivir is to help out my reputation for my Ricochet. Vice the Legend with the Twitch Prime sub, Bastion with the Twitch Prime sub for the second month. Y'all both get some hype boats. Thanks, thanks y'all. Thanks for the support. I appreciate that. Oh, I should have blocked with Sentry so I could have drawn a card. I definitely should have blocked with Sentry. Because then I would have just played new Sentry. All right, so in chat they're saying that that's how it's supposed to work. Like that's right. It says it works as in as intended. That's not a bug. It doesn't stun. But that is all working as intended. Okay, so I want to block. Don't get ahead of yourself. Block. I don't, I don't really want to just take eight. No, I can't take eight. Sorry, Zillion. Just a moment. So we take four, go to nine. We can probably take four, go to nine. Align the signal fire. We each hold a world within. All right, so we're gonna Infernum the Sivir. I wish I could get that thing lifesteal also. Uh, that's that's the card they needed inside of Age of Two mana create four random cards. Four random spells. That could be very good, very impactful. Karma created to get excited. They discarded Vault Breaker, another card that Karma created. I feel like just playing something else, like I, you know, I play like Braum, and then they get just the opportunity to play another thing. Interesting solution. So down to four. How 
Wicked Bromhead. Why? Okay, I was gonna say, why do they just play that? So I was gonna say, why did they just play that before the Heimer? But I guess they already had enough turrets. They wanted and everything. Why not? Why not just play the turret? Oh, because they're gonna get the life steal. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Echo! Look at that, we're playing an Echo deck. I am prepared. It ends in silence. He has one health right now. You are better than this. Look out for reasons. I have to play the troll chant, you know, not only does it save the Aphelios, but also just gets a card out of my hand. So I can draw this card. Which that card's pretty valuable. doesn't do anything. Does it? Oh, no, it doesn't switch back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, like, the, you know, because there's the two of them, like, they would just switch back. But no, because it, it gets changed the first time, so no, it's, it's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they didn't do that before attacking, though, and get, like, these elusives. What did we just heal right there? Oh, Braum healing itself. Okay. So we're gonna go. How many cards do I have left? 17? That's a good amount. So they only have two cards. Back in the table. Join me if you want to live. I just really hope they don't have any way to stop this Sivir, right? If, if they can't kill the Sivir, because we're going to give everything that we have, Overwhelm and... Um, overwhelm and Lifesteal. Which I guess just one one get excited kills me now because I because I am doing this so like one get excited will kill me. That's how it goes, the karma. Ah, oh. I did have it. Okay. So they're tapped out. So if I... If I avalanche, none of my things die, and all but one of their things dies, and they have time to play one thing. I guess that's better than Merciless Hunter. Oh, and we get that thing. Sure, why not? Okay, there we go. GG's. That was an awesome game. <laughs> that was just... 
Good quality Runeterra back and forth. That's what it's all about. All right, let's do it all over again. This time they won't have the like infinite blockers that Heimerdinger produces, but they will have this 1-3 that will kill me a lot faster. So our Nexus is going to be under a lot more duress this time. I'm definitely scared of Ezreal. Ezreal's a scary card for sure. Correct, Babbling Bjerg is just a one of to just get something that kind of fills the curve and draws Sivir and Rune Runner. Those are both important cards to have with Siphoning Strike. Um, so correct, that's exactly what Babbling Beard does. And I'm thinking skip. It's either skip or strike. I'm not gonna take another Flash Freeze, Troll Chant, skip or strike. I'm sorry to say time isn't really an illusion. An illusion. I think it's skip. Nikita is depending on me. Quickly. Um, if you play with like Trundle Braum, yeah, you want to. You probably want to replace the Bjerg, and you can kind of replace it with anything. You know, like just maybe just another interaction spell. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't have like a specific card that I'd recommend changing it with. Per se. Will no one listen? But lots and lots of options. They got nine cards in hand. I think that's worth it. Not Ezreal. Good. I like not Ezreal. Yeah, I mean, I'd still just spend that two mana to get a 3 2 in play. Heroes go hungry. Business as usual. I do have 10 cards in hand. I know this isn't killing an Ezreal, but I want the plus two, plus two for my champs. And now Sivir gets that five strike also. Chrono Shift could be awesome. Unless they pass. They probably pass here. Yeah. Chrono Shift is great. That's basically what I was gonna say. They, they they need a they need an Ionia card then, right? Like they need a Will of Ionia or a Concussive Palm, which they could still have another or a Deny. This is why four mana Will of Ionia is good because now they can have a Deny. But hopefully not. Okay, they got they got the Palm. So they stay alive. So once they palm, that's not good. So then the <laughs> the get excited just doesn't work anymore. I guess I didn't realize exactly that's how that was gonna happen. Ionia speaks through me. Well, that's not good.
So Avalanche plus Time Bomb wasn't killing the Karma because the Karma levels up before the Time Bomb goes off. So that's that's why the Avalanche plus Time Bomb line wasn't appealing. Oh, the Riot and Negation counter... That's right, the Riot and Negation got rid of it. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I should play the Sentry instead of the Preservarium. I was thinking like splitting up the Preservariums. The Sentry would allow me to attack with it though. Stop. Okay, so I don't know what they discarded. Nope, no Bladder Ravine. We got Avalanche instead. This game is not close to being over. It's too like... I don't know, the Ricochet just... Too likely things just didn't go right. I don't want to use it. Easily level up Sivir. I don't want like a twin disciplines to like mess up the sivir. Yeah, they got that. So the ricochet doesn't kill them, but it would kill karma if it resolved, but that's not likely to resolve, right? So they haven't used the deny yet, I don't think, as far as I know. You definitely just have like another twin disciplines. I don't know whether I want to go double sentry or one ruin runner. I'm so I'm doing one of those two. Like putting sentry sentry in play or ruin runner in play. Ruin runner is probably the better attacker with the sentries. Offer card draw. Alright, good thing we played the sentry so we get to play Sever. You gotta think they can't have protection here now. You gotta think that's gonna work. <clears throat> Alright, good. They're out there. 
One karma down. It only just takes millions of cards, but one karma down. Oh, that would have been the second time bomb for the Zillion. Oh no. Now Israel. Howling Abyss? Three sisters. I could, en I could entomb the Ezreal. Flash Freeze or Entomb? Entomb, of course, gets denied. That's the problem with Entomb. Entomb's better, but it gets denied. I'm going with Entomb. It's the best. If they have Deny, they have Deny. Their Deny's out of their hand, and then they don't get a Mystic Shot. That was the worst case scenario. Chase what you want without mercy. So now they can have two Ezreals. I guess that was the worst case scenario. I guess that was the problem with Entomb. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Welcome to the tipsy hour. They just drew a spell, I lose. Hopefully they drew a unit. So that was the problem with the Entomb. This looks like this Entomb's gonna kill me. Yeah, they drew a spell. That's really frustrating, that Entomb. Man, that's frustrating. I should heal my Nexus for three also instead of healing the Sivir. That's really frustrating. That's not a game that I should have lost, but I did with those two. Like, just like the at the end of the game, those two decisions were both the decision, like the only decision that helped them win that game. Good close game. I guess Ice Shard's probably not that good in this matchup. I should probably be just sending the Ice Shard back. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm frustrated with me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this ice shard. I should have sent that back. Found out what to do with the ice shard. Just trade it. <laughs> trade three mana for one mana. Okay, so that card's Rek'Sai on top.
Very good Lurk Hand. Very bad mulligan by me. Man, I am just really frustrated with myself. I need to snap out of that. It's, it's tough. Easier said than done. You can see the Devastian border from here. Yeah, very good Lurk Hand. This is the best that this deck can look, right? Like we've we've played a lot of lurk yesterday and seen a lot of lurk. This it doesn't usually look this good of just all the cheap lurks, double preservarium to be able to keep the card draw going. This is exactly what you could hope for. I'm gonna keep the flash freeze available for the others for the other stuff. Opponent. Irelia Misfortune. I like our chances here with having Avalanche and Ice Shard and everything like that. Want to see those cards. Do not want Preservarium. But we'll take the good blocker. See, so yeah, unfortunately, every decision I made there at the very end, starting with the Entomb and going, going through that last game, every decision ended up being the incorrect decision. Hindsight's always 2020. I think we're gonna start doing better now. Oh yes, Shivana really in soul deck is definitely still very good. <laughs> Thanks, Beach Guys. Okay, not drawing too well. Unfortunately, just drawing the top end. Not the whole, you know, avalanche ice shard part of the deck. I guess we're just going to draw three Ruin Runners in a row. So good news is there's there's only one more top end unit in the entire deck that we can possibly draw. There's only one more Sipper. <laughs> Besides that, um, there are the three um, Howling Abyss, but everything else is going to be a good draw besides those. I really don't want to spend uh, six mana on the Ricochet. Hey, Stroke. Um, games have been going okay today. A little frustrated how they've been going recently. I'm kind of making this block... Like, making this block helps... I know, it takes away the spell shield, obviously, but it, it would help our reputation. Keep our life total high. Love ya. And also help our Sivir level up.
Last game we saw the Lurkers do as good as what Lurking can do, and this is kind of like as good as what this deck can do, right? Like it's... Oh, they didn't have anything to return. I guess they didn't have anything to return, but... Man, we are not drawing very well. Fortunately, we've gotten zero removal spells. Which is a very, very low number of removal spells. Zero. Without mercy. Yeah, <laughs> Rose says, with more and more cards being released, it's getting hard to fit uh, 40 cards into decks. That is that is definitely true. It is getting more and more difficult to uh, only play 40 cards when you kind of want to play everything. I'm just going to go Triple Ruin Runner. Got 18 Overwhelm. I don't know exactly what their plan is against 18 Overwhelm. That's what we're going to figure out. Can't win them all, eh? uh, do you think Misfortune Sejuani is viable at all with the revert of Misfortune's level 2? I would think so. All right, it takes a lot of resources for them to stay alive. They still, of course, will have this leveled up misfortune, so, uh, you know, not looking great, but I will have double Tavern Keeper. Finally, the Avalanche shows up. No regrets, no mercy. After... That's pretty nice. That bullet time just takes up the... Okay, sweet. I was not really exactly expecting to win that, but I guess Triple Ruin Runner does attack for a ton of overwhelm damage, so I guess that does work out. Ruin Runner, best champ. Yeah, I guess Mega Rain's probably the real card for that Misfortune Sejuani deck. Alright, Zoe Lee Sin. Alright, what are we doing against Zoe Lee Sin? I kind of want to keep that Howling Abyss. Not going to lie, just because I love Howling Abyss. You know what? Let's do it. We need to be able to stop around one Zoe, though, which I guess we can't. So we don't really need to pretend like we can when we can't. All right, Kordak with another donation deck. Jarvin Tarek. Kill it, no twin disciplines. Yeah, no twin disciplines. Very good. That's important. I don't think I shards killing this thing. I think that they have I think they have pill cascade, right? Like how they went uh, round two Zoe and everything. I think that's definitely pill cascade. So, let's go Zillion looking for Time Bomb. I guess I could have grabbed that Merciless Hunter. Yeah, I guess I could have grabbed the Merciless Hunter. Cortex says, man, I hope Lee doesn't take over the meta when everything settles down. I would be shocked if that isn't the case. 
that's kind of the outcome that we're going to is that you know it's obviously it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit right everybody's trying out all this new stuff and everything but i i that's what and i could be wrong but i feel like whenever the meta does settle down that that's where we're going to be uh, that's where it's gonna end up is with leeson Yeah, there there are definitely decks that counter Lee. It's not gonna be uncounterable. The spirit gives to those who listen. The problem with playing the other time bomb right now is that it then makes these gems very valuable. But I guess I can't really complain about killing Zoe. Those gems were already going to be valuable. Breathe in, breathe out. Man, with level up Zillion, we can play a Howling Abyss, make a copy, play another Howling Abyss after that, play the new Howling, Ab the third Howling Abyss, make a copy, play a fourth Howling Abyss. Unfortunately, my opponent would probably just, you know end the game and kill me by the time all of that results, but that would be awesome. Want a flash freeze? I think not. <laughs> yes, there's the fail cascade we knew about. Oh no! No, I want that time bomb. Oh, I should have just played this this century. I wanted the spell mana though. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, that's true. Chat, chat's helping me out, help making me feel better. If I would have played the century, we would have just made another century, and then we would have still burned the top card. Okay, that makes me feel better. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Yay, no draglings. Wow, we still get the other avalanche? Even though it was denied? Wow. I was not expecting that. I would have I should have played the Avalanche the round before then or something. I think instead of that ice shard. That was not something that I was expecting. Okay, well that's two denies gone. All that glitters is mine. Stays the same. Danger pays.
D2SNU Demacia deck, is the new Elite any good? I'm not sure yet, honestly. Um, you know, it's only just like the second day we've been trying lots of stuff. I haven't really focused on Demacia too much yet, so I, I don't have a, a real good answer there. Um, I'm not sure. So Cabo says that the, the key to Lurkers is to not play any... Here's your cut. Look out for Reavers. Just a moment. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing here. Uh, but anyway, it says the key to Lurkers is to not play any... Um... No, none of the predict cards, none of like the card draw, none of like those kind of crappy spells. Just play all lurkers. I could definitely see that, you know, just like playing those top end lurkers. So you keep on hitting the lurkers. You don't have to spend like that zero mana predict card that's kind of useless just to put a predict lurker on top when you're going to have a lurker on top anyway. And then you have like the, the three eight mana lurkers at the top end that crush. I like it. You don't miss Lurk, fall your cards are Lurkers. Just go all in with it. I like it. JJ says, there aren't 40 Lurk cards, LOL. Well, not with that attitude, there's not. <laughs> what did they play? They played... Time is money. Oh, Spell Thief? That could be a lot of things. This is, Siphoning Strike is fleeting, of course, right? So, like, that's why we're, we're playing this Siphoning Strike right now. I know that, like, I have, like, the Time Bomb, and so you're like, why, why are we killing the one thing? Just because this thing is just so big, it's kind of worth it. They can also, like, they can play around Time... Like, they can save it from Time Bomb. I want to play Abyss, but my opponent's being mean and trying to kill me, and I have to I have to stay alive. I don't, I don't have time to play the Abyss, but I want to. That's all I want to do is play Abyss. Okay, so we know that they have one card left, which is one of my spells. Which I think you have to think is most likely going to be a Frostbite spell. So assuming they did that whole Concussive Palm remove Spell Shield because it's a card that gets rid of Spell Shield, that's what I wanted to challenge here. Alright, so it was, that was the best card they could grab for me. Unfortunately, this didn't work out too well. Um... Do have the gem for the trickster also. Well. Please don't kill me. They drew another loose if I die. Leeson? They don't have the spell for Lee Sin? Okay, they don't have the spell for Lee Sin. Force is meaningless without skill. So we can just block Lee Sin.
All right, there we go, GG's. Sorry, I didn't get to play the Abyss yet. Or like, not that game. We did have the game earlier against the against the Karma deck where we got to play Abyss and we got to make a ton of level two champions, but my opponent was just pretty aggressive there with the different elusives, you know, with having the Zoe immediately and then two of those uh, three mana three three elusives and we just never had time to play the Abyss. So yeah, that, that is true. Like this deck, you do get to play kind of four champions, right? You get Zillion Sivir, but then you also get Merciless Hunter, Ruin Runner. Merciless Hunter, Ruin Runner definitely seem like champions. Battling Beard was okay. Again, I could see Battling Beard being just like a third Flash Freeze. Um, I don't know about Ice Shard. Ice Shard honestly performed pretty poorly for us in those games. I could definitely see getting rid of Ice Shard. I think if you know, if Ice Shard was Blighter Ravine a couple of times, that would have been better. Or even just more Flash Freeze cards, right? Like, you can you can play more Flash Freeze, more Quicksand, um, things like that. Those could be better than Ice Shard right now. Ice Shard was really important with Aurelia Azir everywhere, but now that deck's not necessarily everywhere anymore. So, you know, we'll keep tuning, but I think that there's a lot of good stuff here. I think Zillion worked great in here. I think Z Zillion and Sivir were two champions that I think that worked really, really well in this Howling Abyss deck. But, you know, so we'll keep tuning it. But I think this Howling Abyss Siphoning Strike deck's really close. I think that, you know, we ended up 3-2. and two. I uh, really messed up the game against the Ezreal deck. I think that could have definitely been a win. If we win that, um, you know, we're 4-1, and one, and that looks better. And then even, like, the Lurk game, like, every, like, kind of like the, like, my Lurk, my opponent with that Lurk game, they had as good of a Lurk hand as you can hope for. And I also made some incorrect decisions in that also. I was a little frustrated and things like that. So, I mean, we weren't that far off of, like, winning all of our games. We really weren't. Um, so you're thinking, uh, yeah, maybe maybe Ravine over Ishard. Definitely. Uh, I could I could certainly see that. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of different cards you can kind of play, right? Like, like even, like, a Brittle Steel could be super nice at, uh, you know, just kind of helping, you know, keep keep stuff alive and just being a, a wonderful interaction spell, even against aggro. Like, there's, there's some things here, but I... As far as like, uh, like the ice shard, and the babbling Bjerg, and kind of even the ride negation, to be honest, but es especially those two, those two are kind of on like the, the watch list of like looking for better things to replace them with. Yeah, it's only the sample size of five games. So I'm just saying, like, as far as like what we've seen in the meta game, I, I could definitely see replacing those. Hourglass, hourglass is a really underrated card. Um, hourglass could like help protect things and everything. That's another card. That could be great. There's a lot of good, you know, there's just, that's the thing. Like, there's just so many good cards these days um, that, you know, you can kind of play what you want. But I, I'm I'm happy with these 37. All, all 37 of these cards I, I was very happy with and I liked. But it's just, what are we, you know, the last three, I those are the ones that I'm not as, not as sure about. Uh, if you try this, if you try this deck out later on, let me know what like how does the ice shard play for you do you do you have any any good suggestions over the ice shard that you really like um you know i'd really like to hear those suggestions but i think this deck's real right like i don't think this is a meme tier deck i think that like this deck with howling abyss siphoning strikes a real deck and uh the zillion felt good in there but that's the thing like the zillion time bombs adding on time bombs and ice shards and avalanches all together um that's always uh you know like that that can you know add up all those different things but Anyway, that's going to be it here for Zillion Sivir Abyss. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of those last three slots and uh, anything else. Um, yeah, please try this deck out. I think this deck's good. If you like Howling Abyss, try this deck out and leave those comments and let me know how it goes for you and other suggestions or anything like that. All right. I'm just kind of reviewing myself now, so let's finish this up. <laughs> that's going to be it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one.